This is Willie Self with the Federation of Fly Fishermen over in Livingston, Montana. And tonight we're, I'm going to be tying the Willie's Wired Squirrel. Um, it's quite an interesting little mayfly. Um, it's very active in the water, but it's also got the nice tapered abdomen of a mayfly. Works good both in the lakes and in the rivers. Um, you really don't need to use beads on it because it's got plenty of weight to it because of the body. Um, we're going to be tying it on a 060 size 12 Dairiki hook. Place that right there in the vise, and we're going to be using monocord 3 aught. It's one of my preferred threads. There's a lot of good threads out there. I just get used to using monocord because it doesn't break very easy. And just tie a little base in there. And we're going to be using the actual squirrel body. As you can see, uh, I've got a lot of little cuts on there. What you're going to do is you're going to pull the hair up like so with your scissors so you can get a hold of it. And just trim off a little bit like so. Now, without letting go of it, what you're going to do is you kind of kind of come around and you're going to pull all this tough, a little under fur out just very gently like so, and it separates it. So you have nice under fur. And you don't want to get rid of that. You want to hang on to it. And then you want to keep this in your one hand because you're going to use the same clip for both parts, two different parts of the fly. And I'll bring this around to where I can see the tail, the little hairs, and I'm going to kind of clean out some of the longer fibers, kind of straighten it up a little bit. You're going to measure it out on the shank. You know, it's going to be about the length of the shank. And you're just going to take and tie that right on in there. And what that does is it gives you a starting point for your body of the fly itself, the abdomen. Tie that now down nice and tight, and you can see that the tail's on there like so. So it's basically like doing a hare's ear tail. Um, but the squirrel seems to work really well for tails also is a little finer. Next we're going to add in a any color wire that you want to use, um, medium or small depending on the size. You can tie these in from 18s all the way up to 8s, which I will use on the lakes. Um, it's a real simplistic little pattern that I, I can't get over how easy it is to tie and how easy it is to fish. You're going to lay that wire right in along the shank closest to you and you're going to start tying that in and it widens the body out just a little bit. And you're going to wrap that down good and tight, bring it up, kind of mark with your thread where your abdomen's going to be. And then you're going to bring that wire right over the top like so, similar to what you're doing with a copper john. And you're just going to wind this forward gives you your automatic weight, automatic body segmentations, and with a wire, it gives you extreme durability. I like to wrap this stuff up right into where the abdomen's going to be. Bring that wire up, put your thumbnail on it, and just wrap around like so. Tell the wire, let's go. You do not want to clip it because it will make a sharp edge and it will cut your thread. As you can see on the body, it's made a nice segmentation body, a nice even body all the way through. Next, I'm going to tie in some Mirage. And I usually use this, when I use the Mirage for a wing case, I usually coat it with an epoxy. Lay that back in there. And tie in a dubbing loop. like so. And the hair that we took out the last, when we first cut the tail, as you can see, that's what's left over. You don't want to breathe real hard, otherwise you got to cut more. And just start setting that in there like so. It's really kind of easy to set it into the dubbing loop if you don't drop it. Set it in there like so. Kind of spread it out a little bit on the dubbing loop. You want to keep it kind of even with those other little parts in there, and then go ahead and spin it up.
And then go ahead and wrap that around the shank for your abdomen. Makes a really nice fluffy thorax. And you're going to bring your flash up across the top, tie that in, make three good wraps on that, and then bring the flash back so you're locking it into place, and then bring all those extra little hairs back so you can get to the head. on a whip finish. And you can use this fly just about any time of the year, and then especially when there's little stones around or mayflies. And that's the end of the bug.